Hi, I'm Scott Hanselman, and it's Azure Friday, and we're doing some advanced web job stuff with Pranav Rastogi from the Web Jobs team. Yep. How are you, sir? Good, sir. How are you? I'm very good. I see a DOS prompt. Makes me very happy. It's not really DOS. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to laugh every time I start a show, aren't you? <laughs> no, but it's like uh, that did prompt uh, for a laughing uh, response to no your worries, comment. No worries, my friend. No worries. All right, so we're at the command prompt, and we're going to do some, uh, some cross-platform command line work. Yes. You know, so, so far we've showed you like you know, how do you create web jobs in VS, how do you sort of publish website uh, web jobs using Visual Studio, uh, the prototype tooling, or through uh, Git publish. We recently added a uh, command line support for web jobs as well to sort of manage your web jobs as well. So you know how you can manage your uh, Azure websites, you can list the websites, you can start and stop a website. Right. You can pretty much do the same. Uh, with Azure Web Jobs as well. Yeah, people can check out some of the cross-platform videos that we've done in Azure Friday. Right. It's basically Azure noun verb. Pretty Azure much. Azure site list. Yes. Azure VM create. Exactly. So, you know, so I have Azure job, and if I just do that, it's going to give me a sort of... Is it job? It's Azure site job. So jobs are a container in the site. <clears throat> ah, okay. So Azure Site, I know about Azure Site List, Azure Site Create. Yes. You said Azure Site Job, and look at that, you're getting help. Yes. So I can, you know, sh I can list all the jobs. I can list a particular job. I can list a particular invocation of a job, and I can see what happened in a particular job itself. Now, you mentioned when we were looking at a previous video where you had the uh, Web Jobs administrative kind of console yes. that you were going to be calling some back end services. Yes. Are, is this calling the same backend services that your exactly. console does? Those are the same APIs that I showed you earlier on the Web Jobs API in terms of. Oh, the, so these are the APIs you're calling? Yes. From the command line? Yes. Very cool. So let's just list all the jobs that I have in my site. So I'm going to say, you know, Azure Site Job, Hello World, Web Jobs. So this is the site that I have uh, over here where I have these web jobs. Okay, so let's slow down. So you've got, looks like six web jobs inside of Hello World web jobs. Right. And so if I say. <coughs> you have to say list? Uh, exactly. So this is the com command. That's your verb. That's your verb. Yeah. <coughs> so it's executing, and it just shows me. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and it's showing you the type and, and the run command. Exactly. And then. You can also do something meaningful with this information by. <coughs> so he said dash dash JSON. Oh, look at that. So you've got, you've got the internals now. So that's what the API is saying. It returns you. Exactly. Look at that. And you've actually got your URLs. And then this is nice. Extra info URL sends right. you to the dashboard. Sends you to the dashboard. And that's the link that shows up in the Azure Management Portal over here. Ah, so that link there is the extra info one, which is here. Which is here, exactly. Nicely done, sir. Yes. So it's no magic. It's all information is over there. And it shows me like what's the status of the job that it's running or what's happening with this particular job itself. <coughs> mm -hmm. So I'm going to use the CLI to sort of uh, push a, a Python web job. So make a new job. Make a new job. OK. And so I have this uh, little Python script, and it's just doing print. Python uh, doing some work. And I've basically gone ahead and created a zip file which uh, has this Python script in it. OK. And, and again, it. with web jobs, you can have PowerShell and batch files and Python and Node and .NET. Everything. Cool. Okay. And so I have this uh, CLI command. <coughs> I recently learned this F7 <coughs> magic, which let's so see. So site job upload. Python triggered, right. and then the name of the zip site. file. Exactly. And so it's. So let's see what you did here. Getting mm -hmm. site information, because it's Hello World web job, Upload uploading new job, and then getting it to make sure it worked. Exactly. So now if I go back to the Azure Management Portal, like you see this Python and web look, job. It's already there. It's already there. And I uploaded it as a trigger job, so it's running on demand, so I can execute it, say, run once. And I assume you can run jobs from the command line as well. Yes. Because that seems really useful to me. As a command line person, I might want to have, like I said, like a morgue thread that might be running in a schedule. But sometimes right. it's like, you know, I want to run that job, make sure it happens. Make sure it happens. Azure site job foo run. Yes. And then this is the execution details, like in the same dashboard that we yep. saw. Look at that. Ah, and, Python know, script host. Py and Python script host. Yeah. So this is a different Hello. one. 
And this was the notification from my trigger job sample. In a previous video, <laughs> the previous and video. set up his, uh, his, his notifications. So they're and calling I, to let you know that those jobs are still running. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can drop back to the CLI. I can sort of, uh, you know, Azure site job and do sort of any sort of management operations around mm -hmm. your web job on starting, stopping, viewing the history, showing the particular invocation run. Uh, you know, this reminds me of uh, the <coughs> Azure site deployment. Because Azure Site Deployment is a verb underneath site. Site. So you go Azure Site List. That makes sense. That makes sense. Azure Site Job List. Here you've got Azure Site Job History, just like I can say Azure Site Deployment and History. History. Yes. So the same amount of information that you can get with your debug console so as far as. For exactly. So you have all the same information for jobs as well, basically, that you can do with your Azure websites as well. And you can, you know, you have the benefits of the CLI. You can run it anyway everywhere that you want it to run. Uh, I like that there's nothing in the portal that you can't also do. From command else. line? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And that's the goal over here is basically you can, from the portal you can upload a web job, from Visual Studio you can upload a web job, like from the CLI you can upload a web job as well and it has the exact same uh, backing fundamentals. Very cool. <coughs> We're doing advanced Azure web jobs here on Azure Friday. <laughs>